Hello, welcome to this session of BPT based problems. This is Vasavi from At Home Tuition. We had already seen uh, the basic proportionality theorem and the converse theorem of it, right? Let us do a few problems based on BPT and the converse theorem. And this is also like proving sums. So here the first question states, if a line intersects the side AB and AC of a triangle ABC at D and E, I have given the picture here. So that is a triangle ABC and uh, it, uh, this AB and AC is been uh, intersected by DE, the line DE, okay, uh, respectively. And this DE is parallel to BC. You need to prove that AD over AB is equal to AE over AC. That is the first portion, this first portion over the full portion is equal to the small, this side for the small portion over the full portion. Okay. So let us see how to solve that. First draw whatever is given you put that if the picture is given it's fine else you need to draw it so that from that you can infer like how to solve the problem. They say DE is given. DE, the line DE is parallel to BC, right? If DE is parallel to BC, then the sides are proportionate, right? So I can say AD over DB, okay? DB is equal to AE over EC. Why do we say this? Because of the BPT. So as per BPT theorem, you can say that AD over DB equals AE over EC. But that is not what you need to prove. You have to prove that AD over AB is equal to AE over AC, right? So let me write this as DB over AD. I just flip this. And I got this here, this side also it is EC over AE, right? So I just flipped uh, this one. Now I'm going to add one on both sides, okay? Adding one to both sides. This becomes DB over AD plus one equals this side it is EC over AE, sorry, not C, AE, AE plus 1, right? So I continue this here. This implies when you add 1, what happens? I take it like this DB by over AD plus this 1, I write it as AD over AD, okay? AD over AD. Because I aim is to prove uh, AD by AB, right? So for that, I'm using this. Same way, this side also. EC over AE, right? So whatever the denominator is, you can put write the one as AE over AE. Did you get that? Now, if I since I have got same denominators, I can straight away add the numerator, right? So what happens? DB plus AD. DB plus, yeah, you can see here, this is DB. DB plus AD is AB, right? So I got that AB here. And on my right, it is EC, this side, add plus AE. So that will be AC, okay? AC over AE. Got it? Flip this again. So you get AD over AB is equal to AE over AC. And this is what you need to prove, okay? So proved. Cut it. The next question here. This is about a trapezium. Right? ABCD is a trapezium with AB parallel to DC. 
and uh, E and F are points on non-parallel sides. So I have marked it here because AB and DC is parallel. So the non-parallel sides are AD and BC. Okay, you have E and F on it uh, such that EF is parallel to AB. They say EF this one is parallel to AB, right? Okay, so let us. Uh, let us write what is given. So, I am just writing my answer here. Given AB is parallel to DC, right? And also they say EF is parallel to AB, right? So, that means what? DC is parallel to AB, EF is parallel to AB. So, you can say so DC is parallel to EF, okay? So, all these three lines are parallel. Now, let us see how to prove uh, this one, what they've asked. Actually, you know only the BPT theorem could be applied only for a triangle, not for the trapezium, right? So, let me make this trapezium into two triangles by drawing a diagonal. I just draw a dotted line here, okay? So, this is construction. I... Uh, I just drew a diagonal AC in this trapezium so that I get two triangles. One triangle is ADC and the other one is ABC. Okay, I, you get two triangles here. Now, let me take the first triangle in triangle ADC. Okay, ADC. And let me put this, uh, let me mark this point where it cuts uh, the EF as G okay I, I name it as G now in triangle ADC let me say uh, EG is parallel to EG is parallel to what DC right is parallel to DC therefore I can say AE over ED is equal to AG over GC okay so this is equation 1 let me keep it as equation 1 okay now let me take the other triangle the second triangle in triangle CAB okay it is upside down but still it, it you can look at it in triangle CAB what is parallel uh, AB is parallel to FG now uh, see in this triangle it is AG by GC, right? Or you can write GC by AG. GC over AG is equal to the other side it is CF over BF. Did you get that? So now I am going to flip this so that I get AG over GC is equal to flip this side also BF over CF and I take this as equation 2 okay so we have got two equations now from 1 and 2 always it is better to write the reason okay BPT the lines are parallel and hence it is uh, proportionate here too I have applied only BPT okay because of BPT theorem now from 1 and 2, what do you get? From 1 and 2, because just look, in equation 1 you have AG over GC is equal to AE over ED. In equation 2 also you have got AG over GC is equal to BF over CF. So I can say from 1 and 2, AE over ED is equal to BF over CF, right? or FC BF over FC okay so is this what they was yes so you have proved it did you get that just turn this trapezium into two triangles and just prove how uh, uh, you do when you use the BPT theorem okay and one final question here here they've given you in the figure, the figure is given in the question itself. They say a, I mean, PS by SQ is equal to PT 
over TR, right? So let me first write what is given. PS over SQ is equal to PT over TR, okay? So what does that represent? Therefore, you can say ST is parallel to QR. And why do I say this? Because of the converse, BPT converse theorem. Okay. What does that say in converse theorem? If the sides are proportionate, then the lines are parallel. Right. So you got your ST parallel to QR. Okay. And moreover, they have given angle PST is equal to angle PRQ, right? I would say, but PST is also equal to PQR because ST and QR are the parallel lines and QS is a transversal cutting it. So I can say that these two angles are because they are corresponding angles. Okay. The reason is corresponding angles. Okay. So these two are equal. So this angle and this angle is equal. Likewise, likewise, uh, you, you can say that angle PR T will be equal to angle PTS, right? And the reason is again the same corresponding angle, okay? So all the four angles seems to be equal. So you can say triangle, therefore, triangle PST and triangle PQR Okay, angle PQR are isosceles. If you want, you can say because base angles are same. So you have now proved that these triangles are isosceles. Hope you all understood these problems we did here. I'll meet you with some more problems in the next class. Till then, bye.